Commuters wait for 30 minutes to 1 hour to buy tickets, especially during office hours and festivals. Commuters have to stand in long queues for hours to purchase token tickets from the counter. There are no ticket vending machines present at the metro station, which causes difficulty for passengers to travel. TVM is helpful for us because standing in queues and all doesn't make a lot of sense. It also cuts out on your time when you have to read somewhere. In 2018, ticket vending machines were totally closed down. TVMs had to be recalibrated as they were unable to accept new currency notes after demonetization. BMRCL says about 40% of passengers still uses token tickets to travel from metros. There are different facilities available like QR tickets and day passes, but people find them difficult to use and have to wait longer to purchase them. I travel to the metro occasionally and uh, I don't have a smart card. The waiting time for getting a metro is around half an hour, which is very frustrating. Ticket vending machines were installed uh, prior to the demonetization. Uh, changing it to a system which is not uh, economically feasible. The TVM costs more than 1 lakh. To recalibrate such machines, both hardware and software changes are required and replacement of some particular components for the entire control circuit of machine. Although the demonetization has affected the calibration and updation of the machines uh, for the new currencies, but that was just a momentary aspect. I think it should not take that much time to calibrate or update the ticket vending machines for the new currencies. I time to have uh, the ticket vending machines installed in the metro stations. Lack of TVMs is causing inconvenience to passengers, resulting them in standing in long queues. Asa Chopra, Citycast, Bangalore.